am the mayor of this town. What is the commissioner doing that is more important than talking to me? Will you tell him for me that I am most displeased? <sighs> Look at this place. This is unconscionable. I mean, really. All of this was happening while my daughter was voluntarily giving a statement to the police? I tell you, I want, I want an apology from them before the end of the day. No, better yet. I want that and I want you to sue them. Yes, for violating my daughter's rights and, and for destroying her property. Unfortunately, they were within their rights. What about my daughter's rights? They had this warrant to search the apartment, Dorian. Wait, I, and it I, checks out. I thought that you were on my family's side. I am. I am trying to protect your daughter and you from any suggestion of interference or cronyism. Now, let's calm down. It's obvious the police still have no evidence against Langston connecting her to the crime, or they'd be here with an arrest warrant. Okay, Langston. I would like you to come home with me, please. No, I, I, I can't leave the apartment like this. Oh, don't be silly. I'll get a cleaning crew, and they'll take no, care no, of no, everything. No. Dorian, I need to do this. If the police come, you will call me, won't you? Yeah, I will. If you need me, you know where to find me. Okay. Dorian. I really do appreciate everything you've done, both of you. But, Dorian, it's okay. I got it from here. If anything does happen, you call me first. I will call him. Okay. Not quite. We got a piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Look at that. That's good. I think I have a good idea about where we'll find the next piece. Here's what you do. Trust me, Langston is in a lot of pain over this. Well, she should be. She did this. When Marco finds out that the girl that he, he's basically worshipped since they met, the girl that he's made so many sacrifices for, I mean, his, his family, his home, you know, putting all those hours in our work. I know, Cole. He already knows. What? He walked in on Langston and Ford. When? Last night. During prom. That's where they were. Marco followed Langston to Ford's and... Well, he found out. They broke up, he moved out, and it's all my fault. What are you talking about? Well, I convinced you not to tell him. No. You both did that. Come here. I just can't believe it. I believed her whole she swore on our friendship. Well, when someone really wants you to believe them, they'll swear on anything. Like your... Like my what? Like your dad. All right, he swore on you and uh, Sam Jack Hope that he was innocent. Sorry, you can't always believe people. I mean, look what happened with Langston. Larry, knock next time, okay? He grabbed me and tied me up and brought me here, and this guy? He's crazy. Todd, he wants me to admit to something that I didn't do, or else he's gonna kill me. It's not my problem, girly. It's between you and the boss. You will not believe what I got for you. Good? Oh, it's better than good. Okay. Hey, guys. Should wait outside. Don't let anyone else barge in. Hello. Ouch. <laughs> oh, look at all that blood. <laughs> do I know what sells papers or do I know what sells papers? Oh, you're an artist, man. OK, you went back to Ford's apartment. Why? I was so angry. I kept 
going over it in my head. Why didn't I know? Why didn't I see it? Why didn't I know that she was cheating on me? And then I started to think, maybe the whole thing was a lie. You know, maybe she never loved me. Maybe she was just marking down the days until someone like Ford came along. I started to go crazy and I had to get out of here. And the next thing you know, I'm at Ford's apartment sitting in the parking lot just thinking, thinking about how Ford stole Langston from me, about how he stole our whole history together. What did you do? Are you saying that because Langston lied to me, that means that my dad lied to me? No, I'm saying when you love someone, you want to believe them. What are you saying, that I'm just stupid or gullible? It, it, neither. You're trusting. You want to have faith in people, and that's a good thing. But sometimes people can abuse that faith. I mean, look at Langston. We got played. Okay, just because Langston look, lied all, to me, that all I'm saying is it, possible. Okay, if you can be wrong about your best friend, you can be wrong about your father. Well done, Larry. Oh, you can count on me. Just like, uh, I know I can, uh, count on you. Get out of here. Look at this. There he does good work, doesn't he? What's the matter? Do you know that guy? No. Hi. I'm a reporter for The Sun. I was hoping I could get some information on a patient. Marco, just please hear me out. Please. Brody. Hey. Um, is there any word about Ford? I don't know, Marco. I'm just here to make an arrest. Yeah, this is Lieutenant McBain with the Landview PD. I need an update on an assault victim that was brought into the OR. Robert Ford? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, yes, we just got word on him. You have enough evidence for an arrest? More than enough, including a bloody footprint at the scene. Oh, let me guess, you want my client to surrender his sneakers? Marco Rivera is your client? He certainly is, and he's not surrendering anything without a warrant. No, we don't need a warrant. We already have the shoes. Where'd you get those? Okay, Marco, let me do the talking. My client has a legitimate question. Where did you get those? The dumpster out back. Marco Rivera, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of Robert Ford. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you.